for the most part, one of the most powerful moves she has is this amazing drip, right? Yes. And, and so it'll push the players back, and it'll keep her at that distance that she wants to be. Uh, what are you going to say, Steve? Now, like uh, Aquaman's From the Deep, it will actually track where the opponent is. You're not doing a far one. It's a homing move. Yeah. Here, However, um, the meter burn one also comes out on block. So the opponent, when they block a vine drill, they have to guess, are you doing a second vine drill, or are you just going to do the first vine drill? No, I, do, I, I get a dash after a block. Yes, yeah, right, right. You can then try to get in, but uh, it's a very, very, very powerful homing keep out. Yep. Right. And then uh, another thing she has are these ground roots, right? So if she's just like, yes, come at me, and you do decide to get close to her, she can put out traps in front of her as well. These uh, ground roots are going to do additional damage while standing in them. So even if the opponent does advance past the vine drill, the root of the problem will be standing <laughs> in that bed of thorns where they're going to start <sighs> taking damage. Right. And then, of course, she has her kiss. And now she can also meter burn her kiss. And that's a true throw. And then from there, you can go into party time. But we won't go into that quite yet. Right. Um, she also has bark skin, right? So which will actually have her take less damage. So going into that defensive stay away type. And it's pretty significant. Right, so you can be like, all right, get back. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out. And then I'm gonna sit here and go like this and come at me. That's basically it. Right. So a perfect matchup example would be if you're doing this against, say, Dr. Fate, and you have the bark skin on, even if his projectile is beating you and getting out before the drill, she's barely gonna take any damage. So he's still, it, the onus is still on him to come in. Right. And then she also has the hammer. And from the hammer, you have multiple different attacks that you can do. You can do a low kick, you can do a straight, or an upward one into a straight, and then you can meter burn it and go into multiple hits. So it's just going to do good chip damage if you have somebody in the corner, if you've got them cornered or whatnot. Um, and then you can actually two and one into it as well. Now, is, right. is she stuck in place during that? She is. Yeah. She is. So you're kind of, once you commit to it, you're going to have to stick. But, but here's a great place for it, because I'm in the corner. Right. Right. Yep. And if somebody's trying to wake up, you can just go straight into it and wait for them to wake up as right. well. Um, and then, probably my favorite part is Nightshade, her little buddy. And so what Nightshade does is it's basically a turn. So even if you get over or behind me, it's going to track you. Oh, go ahead. And you, you are not telling uh, her when to attack. She's fully automatic. Poison Ivy is available to just... Play the game as you please while little Pukey is uh, working, doing her magic. Well, it's actually Nightshade, but in the studio has become Pukey. <laughs> and so even if you jump anything, Pukey yeah. is going to get you. Right. And, and this complements all the special moves you just talked about. So once you have Nightshade out, you can put on your bark skin and begin your drills, and the opponent is virtually in a keep out lockdown. Now here, let's reset real quick. Now pull out Nightshade. All right. So the, but if I... If you manage to make the correct decision and hit Ivy, yep. Nightshade will go away. So one hit and Nightshade's gone. Right. Nightshade's gone. So if you're doing it at this, at this distance, that's not a great idea. Right. Because I'm going to knock right. it out right away. Um, another thing with, with Nightshade that's fun is if you watch the meter, right, it's slowly draining. That's basically how long it's going to be around. But right towards the end, you can send it out to do a low attack as well. So that's what that was. That's what that was, <laughs> right. So if you're just sitting and you're letting do his attacks, you can go, okay, he's about, she's about done. Let me send her out for an attack. Which I blocked just then. Which you blocked just then. And then, as we had talked about before, she's got a pretty strong mid game. And she's got these two plants that are on her shoulders. And I believe that's Chompy and Bitey. Chompy and Bitey. Chompy and Bitey. And that is that, that is, I believe, her accessory, yes? Yes, those are her accessories. So you'll get new different Chompy and Biteys, which right. I guess you could name when you get different ones. Right. Whatever. Um, and these actually extend her attacks. So like we were saying before, she really doesn't touch you. It's more of Chompy and Bitey here that do. And they extend her normal attacks. I, I also do love her down two and her back three. Her down which, two? Her down two, she's not actually attacking you at all, but her back three. Right. So she's calling plants to yes. do, do her bidding. She also has a very unique 4-3 that she can actually control the distance of. She can do it long or short. So her 4-3 has an incredible amount of range if she holds forward. That was the short one. Yep. yep. That's the normal, normal one. Normal one. And then, and then... Look at that. Yes. 
So, um, for the most part, she's kind of that stay back character, but if you get in close, she's going to poke you and try and make that distance. Can you show her back too, which in my opinion is kind of her, uh, her sure. key normal attack. Look at the range of this, and then it goes into this. Or if you are pretty sure it's going to hit, you can do back two, down two, and then go into your drill. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's definitely her, that's kind of her key uh, neutral game move. Nope, I'm going into hammer, okay. Another cool one, which is a little mix-up string, is back one, two, three, which begins with a very fast low. And then you just carry them all the way back. Right. And she also has three, one, three. Very cool looking. The second hit's a low. I love that last hit. And she does have a good mixture of overheads towards the end of the combos as well. Right. Her, She's one of those characters where her mix-ups come in the middle of her pressure, not just overhead low, static overhead low. We also haven't shown her throw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Just throwing out those kisses. So, she yes. would definitely kiss Swamp. Steve, do you want to see if you can nail your swaggy combo? Okay, I'm going to try. All right, how many tries are we going to give Steve? I'm glad it's not me this time. <laughs> oh, I'm going to five for Steve. Nope, so that's two. Come on. <laughs> are you expecting, there's only three, four people in the room, we're not going to cheer for you. Oh. What are you doing here? <laughs> Burke? <Yeah. laughs> you hear Burke? You hear him back there? He's Another right. thing, uh, also with Ivy and uh, Pukey here, right? Once you, if you're just going to stay back, but you want to advance, right? You can actually tech roll and then go into it, right? And Pukey's going to continue from the other side. Right. So Pukey can be a defensive move. If, if you have the life lead, they're in a lot of trouble. She can just hide behind their bark skin. But, like Derek said, if you need to make the comeback, if you're behind, Pukey's the perfect way to cover your advance, and then you can start using her long range 4 3, her double hitting jump 2, her 4 2 moves, another good advancing move. One thing I'm excited about this is kind of like dorky high level stuff, but like how we've kind of uh, sort of played with some of the mechanics of our back and forward threes in this game. Yes. Like certain characters have different ways. Super, Super Girls is very instance, unique. Yes. I think that's really cool that she has her own sort of way she uses her. Right. Because it's such just a constant thing in our game. Back three and forward three are mm -hmm. very important. Our, our wall bounces are big, and how they've changed, how those work is neat to me. Super time? Super, Super time. time. I'm excited. This is a good one. That's so rad. Feed me. All right. Even Swabby couldn't do anything about that. Nothing. But yeah, I mean, it's all about keeping your opponent away, doing right. distance with her, and just drill, right? And if they get close, she can handle it for the most She part. can handle, yeah, she can handle it. But usually, you're going to do a quick combo to send them back to go back to getting Pukey right. out and doing your drills. So right. It's a very, a very definitive gameplay style. It's a very different type of style right. that she it's employs. Very, very methodical. You are gonna. If the pace is slow, she's winning. Right. right. All right, so let's check out what we did with some of her outfits and what other abilities her she has. Her gears? Her gears. I'm very excited. Let's see what we got here. And you put all this together? You're... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. And so naturally, as you'll see, that her accessories Honestly, changed. Derek and I, we, we set these load ops for the girls yesterday, and we spent probably longer than needed to be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cool. Making these load outs. We'll have HR talk to you. All right. So as you see, obviously, her uh, Chompy and Bitey have changed because that's the accessory piece. And then the different abilities we gave was one is the vine crawl, where she'll actually put her hands to the ground, summon a vine that comes up right in front. Of and her. this replaces the uh, drill, and it's a great move because it covers even more space vertically. You can see it goes all the way up. And while this does not track full screen, this is actually better from mid to close range. And then the meter burn one is two extra hits and covers a ton of space. This is an ultimate screen control move. And of course, it's pushing them back again, right. which is all she wants to do. Yeah. Right? And then the other one we have is the thistle coat. So instead of the bark skin, she now has little uh, thorns. Thorns, right? That go around her body. And when you do attacks, you're doing more damage. And if she gets hit, she'll do damage to them as well. So this replaces the bark skin, and it's literally the exact opposite. The bark skin is great if you're playing her 
her, her uh, boilerplate keep out game. But if it's a matchup where that's not very effective and she has no choice but to get in, but you still want to play her, the Thistle Code is great because if the opponent's in and they're damaging you, they're getting hurt too. Right, that, and near the end of a match that can cause yeah. problems. And you can see like the, the damage increase with the like, it's, it's pretty significant. Um, and those are basically the two different abilities that we added onto her. And then, here we go to loadout number three. What we got here? Oh, this is, oh, nice. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty red. So, on this one, she has the deadly thorns, where it's actually another projectile. So, And this you, is a traditional projectile, right? You can go into this, into this, and also have Pupi out all at the same time. So this gives her the just prototypical uh, standard fireball that she doesn't normally have. Normally, she's more controlling the ground, so this is allows her to control the space in front of her. And the meter burn one is, is very good. It's multiple hits, good damage, and this really complements uh, her play style, especially against a character who has a good projectile himself, because now she has a fast projectile. Right. And then the additional one is the Petals of Life. And while she's standing in the area, she's con she's continuously getting health back, right? And this this replaces uh, the thorns that go on the ground. The ground thorns, right. So if you are doing the stay back and you have low health, but you have all these things protecting you, because that's basically how she is, is putting all these things out to protect her. You can bring this out, you can meter burn it, and now it's doing even more health. Can I point out how much I love the animation of the meter burn one? Oh, that's really cool. That's perfect. So. And, of course, she has additional ability moves that we're not going to get into, but that's Poison Ivy. She basically wants to stay back and let her plants do the work, and yes. if you get close, Chompy and Bidey are going to come at you. We actually, funny enough, we did have some matches before we started the stream where uh, we were playing Grodd versus Poison Ivy, mm -hmm. which, when you got me in the back, I was having trouble. Right. But when I got close to you, I do so much significant damage that right. you were having a lot of trouble. Right. What's going on, guys? It's Super here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe or check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.